Welcome back to P1. Today we have the final video in this series and it's finding functions, unit 9.3. So our previous two videos we were looking at integrating functions and when we integrated we got a constant c. In this video we're going to find that constant c and to do so we need a point, a point on the curve to be able to do it. Now let's just think about it a moment just to hopefully give you a little bit more information but if I was to integrate I don't know 2x for example integrating that would give me 2x squared over 2 which is just x squared and I've got this plus c and what that means is I get the same graph but depending on that plus c depends on exactly how it looks or where it crosses the axes. So if c was 0, I would get this graph. I'm going to put a plus 0 in. If, say, it's not a very good drawing, but if I had the same graph crossing say further up at 4 this would be y equals x squared plus 4 and equally if I had that graph crossing further down I don't know minus 6 it'd be x squared minus 6 the graph themselves despite my poor drawing here sketching the graph themselves they're all identical they're just being translated that's what that c is doing it's really just translating them up or down in the y direction. Now, if I have a coordinate of a point on a curve, then I can find out exactly where it would cross any axes or exactly what that constant is. So let's have a look. So here, the curve with equation y equals f of x passes through the point 1, 0. Given that f prime of x is 12x squared plus 6x minus 1, find f of x. So the first thing I want to do is integrate this. So integrating this is, I'm integrating this f of x, or f prime of x, I should say. So I'm integrating this 12x squared plus 6x minus 1. And that would give me 12x cubed over 3 plus 6x squared over 2 minus x plus c. And simplifying, I get 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus x plus c. And this is now my f of x. Now, if I go back to the question... There was a point in this question, 1, 0. That means if I substitute 1 in, my y value should be 0. So f of 1 equals 4 lots of 1 cubed plus 3 lots of 1 squared minus 1 plus c. And that must equal 0, the y value. So I've got 4 plus 3 minus 1 plus c equals 0. So here I can see 4 plus 3 is 7, take away 1 is 6. I've got 6 plus c equals 0, so c must equal negative 6. Therefore, f of x is 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 6. And that there is my new function. That is the proper function for this point and for this curve. So as you can see, it's not much more than what we've already done and discussed in the other two videos. So I'll give you a couple of quick questions on this. And as always, pop the answers at the end.